class, my name is Dan LeClaire. For my multimedia presentation, I will be talking about the importance of local history and the lasting impact that it has on a community. As you all know, over this past week's readings and videos that local history plays an important part in our lives and our culture on the areas that we grew up. Today we are going to look at a couple of local historical spots in my hometown. We are here right now at the Potash Bowl in Swansea, New Hampshire. This outdoor amphitheater was where they used to have the annual production play of The Old Homestead by Denman Thompson. And before we get into the Potash Bowl, I just want to give you a quick overview of Denman Thompson and why that makes the, this area such an important and most famous historical spot in Swansea. Denman Thompson was born in 1833 in Girard, Pennsylvania and moved to Swansea, New Hampshire when he was 14. He learned his father's trade of carpentry, but by the age of 17, he got restless, just like a lot of young adults do, and he wanted to move away and get out in the world and make his fortune. It was in the 1870s that Denman Thompson started writing skits. He started performing one of them, which he titled Joshua Whitcomb. When he first wrote it, the skit was only 25 minutes long, but eventually grew into three acts. With this skit that Denman Thompson put on, he was able to make enough money to build his home back here in Swansea. Denman Thompson would then take his character, Joshua Whitcomb, use that inspiration to write the play, The Old Homestead. This play ended up being a tremendous success. When it opened in Boston in 1886, the first week it grossed over $11,000. He then went on tour across the entire United States and then it debuted on Broadway in 1904. They took a couple years off, then in 1907, the old homestead came back as a revival and in 19 and in 1915 after Deadman Thompson passed away a motion picture was made by the famous players film company with the same title the old homestead now I bet you're wondering how does all of this relate to where I am now the potash bowl here in good old Swansea New Hampshire and maybe you also might be thinking why would somebody name an outdoor amphitheater the Potash Bowl? Well, I have the answer for you. So, back in the early 1800s, there was a general store that was nearby where I'm standing now that would take good wood ashes and trade them for goods that they had in their store. They would use those ashes to process them in huge iron kettles so they could produce potash and lye for making soap. So when the amphitheater was built, they thought it fitting to call it the Potash Bowl. I know what you're thinking. You thought it was going to be a more exciting story than that. But unfortunately, it wasn't. The road in front of the Potash Bowl at one time was the most traveled road in Cheshire County. Now, Route 32, at one time it was known as the Boston Road. But let's get back to why the Potash Bowl is such a historical landmark for the town. In, it was in 1933. It was in 1933 when the city of Keene, which is just about five miles north of here, decided to put on three performances of the old homestead at Keene City Hall to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the city. It was also the 100th birthday of Denman Thompson. After the production finished, the sold out performances, the excited people of Swansea decided that they, had a, they wanted to 
have a production of the old homestead play every year. To do this, they needed a stage big enough to be able to put on such a production. Harold Adams, a patron of Swansea, noticed that this area here, where I'm standing, had a natural amphitheater shape to it. Construction began, and the first revival and annual production of the old homestead took place in July 1939. Denman Thompson's play was presented here at the Potash Bowl for three more years until the start of World War II. Unfortunately, during, during the time of World War II, uh, many men in Swansea had enlisted in the Army to go fight for our country. But after the war was over, in 1946, the old homestead was back in action and played here every year until 2016. They had a 70-year tradition bringing the past to life. In 2018, though, this area was devastated by two massive storms that knocked down, uh, knocked down trees and created a bunch of damage. And unfortunately, another one hit in October of 2019, which brought down a few more trees, damaged the stage and the refreshment stand. And then we know what happened in 2020. COVID hit the country. It ran rampant and shut down everything, which stifled the fundraising events that the town of Swansea had planned to bring the, to bring the Potash Bowl back to its former glory. Since then, some work has been done. Trees have been taken down. The roof has been repaired. But there's still a lot of work left to do to revive this historic landmark. And hopefully one day, the people of Swansea will be able to get enough money together and raise the funds and hopefully be able to produce the old homestead once again for the people of Swansea. Again, class, I am here in front of Denman Thompson's house out here in West Swansea. And what you hear behind me, there's some geese squawking. This is the house that Denman Thompson had built with the money that he made on his first play, Joshua Whitcomb. Luckily, the town of Swansea has the prop has the property as a historical landmark, so it will never be torn down and will always be preserved. The outside of the property had, still has the same elegance as it did when it was built, but has been transformed, unfortunately, to apartments inside. The landscape around Swansea has definitely changed over the years, but the small town culture and history continues to thrive. And I just want to thank everybody for tuning into my presentation today. I hope you enjoyed our trip down memory lane in Swansea, New Hampshire. Have a great day.